Hello there, just a quick exploration of some recent news uh, from the front page of the Express and they lead with house prices keep soaring and there's also mention at the top of the newspaper that uh, the British fry up is healthy. So first these house prices of course the central bank has had a policy of very low uh, interest rates on credit so people have been borrowing lots of money and buying bigger houses and this is just putting much more money into the money markets uh, the supply of money is increasing and so inevitably prices go up uh, but it's not, unfortunately not just the prices of houses that go up uh, the cost of living also goes up because the price of everything else goes up as this money filters down. And of course there's a difference between price and value. Uh, price is just a measure of uh, the currency, it's just a, a, a purely a number. Value though is a subjective thing. Uh, the, for example you would have a, a problem selling a bag of sand to somebody in the middle of a desert because they could get as, as much sand as they like for free. Whereas if you try to sell the sand to somebody uh, building a house uh, on a typical street uh, they might be quite interested uh, to, to pay for it because um, they want to uh, make some cement. So that's value and price completely different. And the value of houses is always on the decline and this is a general uh, theme with property it declines, it, it becomes uh, out of date, it falls to pieces, it wears out. Houses are of course uh, subject to uh, wear and tear, you know, wood rots, um, paint looks bad, windows need replacing etc etc. So the value of a house um, if it's untouched and unlooked after will decline quite substantially every year so of course people are pouring money into them um, to maintain their value and keep them nice to live in. Uh, so houses aren't actually an investment uh, vehicle. Uh, the value of them is only really going to increase uh, if something changes in the market such as a dramatic population increase and it has to be of course a population increase that's um, backed with wealth so they can actually buy things not just I mean, more people that's, that's not going to increase the value of housing. Uh, or it could be uh, something about the locality, maybe there's uh, going to be a sports stadium built nearby or a gym or a school and those are all things that um, could increase the value of a property to people who are interested in having those things around. Another thing that will increase the value of uh, a property um, might be something uh, like um, a, an improvement or something like that but of course that has, has costs associated with it as well. Um, so that's uh, how you might um, look at the value of properties. Uh, it's going down all the time in general, uh, unless you're kind of fortuitous and have made some kind of good investment. Uh, obviously if your uh, house is near a cliff that's um, slowly eroding away, then you might get a more dramatic decrease in value uh, as, uh, over and above what you would ordinarily get. So uh, this article then, the house prices keep soaring, is, is, is really um, probably just uh, quite a misleading uh, article because um, it doesn't take into account inflation. Then we have this other article about the British fry-up. When you actually turn and read the article inside the paper, it's actually not at all about the British fry-up. doesn't say anything about it being healthier. It's really an article saying that it's better to eat a large breakfast instead of a large dinner. Uh, and in fact at the end of the article it says um, that you shouldn't fry up and you should prefer other forms of cooking so it's quite unrelated to what's on the front page uh, the front page of course is just to grab people's attention and to appeal to um, people's uh, emotional reactions in the moment and get them to pick it up and pay for it uh, whereas the actual content in terms of information is absolutely rubbish so uh, please save your money, don't buy this rubbish and look for the alternative media, it's much better and much cheaper. Thank you and bye.